Hello friends. Today I'll be reading a story to you called Heal Me the Hippo Learns About Death by Ray Norwich. And joining us is Pika, Snuggles, and Angel. One fine morning, Heal Me splashed about in the water. The sun was high in the clear blue sky and all around the birds were singing. Hilmi was very happy. He left the water and climbed up onto the sandy bank of his water hole. Lying close by on the warm sand was Hilmi's best friend, the blue dragonfly. Assalamu alaikum, blue dragonfly, called Hilmi. Isn't it a fine day today? But Hilmi's friend did not answer. Hilmi walked over to the dragonfly whose wings were spread out, glistening in the morning light. Once again, Hilmi said, Assalamu alaikum, blue dragonfly. And once again, the dragonfly did not answer. Hilmi sniffed the dragonfly and gently nudged his friend with his nose. The blue dragonfly lay motionless. Why do you not answer me, dragonfly? asked Hilmi. His voice filled with concern. Still, the little dragonfly did not reply. The green frog that lived among the reeds and water lilies emerged from beneath a lily pad. He too began to call the blue dragonfly. The plover that was nesting close by left her eggs and came rushing over. She had loved the kind little dragonfly and was deeply concerned. Soon, all the creatures that lived around the water hole began to gather around. The water monitor came ambling over the warm sand, his tongue flicking in and out. The weaver birds who were busily weaving their nests in the overhanging branches stopped their work and flew down to where the little dragonfly lay. But as much as his friends called, the little blue dragonfly did not lift a wing or move his head. Hilmi knew then that his best friend had died. One by one, all the creatures left the dragonfly and returned to their nests and homes. Everyone was filled with great sadness. Hilmi too was very sad as he stood beside his little friend. He had never thought the blue dragonfly would die. From a nearby bush, Hilmi heard someone calling him. Assalamu alaikum, Hilmi. Why do you look so sad? Hilmi turned around and saw his friend, the chameleon. The chameleon, of course, was very slow on his feet, therefore was not aware of what had happened. Wa alaikum assalam, chameleon, replied Hilmi sadly. The blue dragonfly has died. He has been a very good friend to me. I will miss him greatly. Why has he died, chameleon? The chameleon pondered for a short while. I have no knowledge of these things, Hilmi. Perhaps you should go down to where the river runs through the forest. That is where... The wise Terrapan lives. He has lived for a long time. I know he will have the answers to all your questions. Chazakalach air, chameleon, said Hilmi, and with a heavy heart set out at once. As he walked, he thought a bit about his friend, the blue dragonfly and all the friends he had ever known. He passed the mighty old lion, Claw. Since Hilmi was a large hippo, he had no need to fear Claw. Assalamu alaikum, Claw, called Hilmi. Wa alaikum assalam, Hilmi, answered Claw. Where are you going? You look very sad. My best friend, the blue dragonfly, has died, and I am going down to the forest to speak to the terrapin. He is very wise, and perhaps he can tell me about life in the hereafter. He is indeed 
Very wise, replied Claw, and lay down to sleep. You are very old, Claw. Will you die soon? asked Hilmi. The old sleepy lion replied, We all die at a time appointed for us by Allah, though we do not know the exact time of our death. But I am not afraid. I am ready when Allah calls me. I hope I have lived a good and just life. Inshallah, when I die, may Allah have mercy on me. Fi aman Allah, called Hilmi with his heart filled with sorrow. I must be on my way. Soon, Hilmi reached the forest. He made his way through the thick trees and dense undergrowth. In the distance, Hilmi heard the river splashing and swirling over the rocks. He hurriedly followed the path. Once he was at the water's edge, Hilmi saw in the clearing the wise terrapin sunning himself on some rocks. Assalamu alaikum, terrapin, called Hilmi. Wa alaikum assalam, Hilmi, replied the terrapin. What has brought you all this way, Hilmi? It is very far from your wartel. My best friend, the blue dragonfly, has died, and I am very sad, replied Hilmi. I was told by the little chameleon you can answer some of my questions. The sun streamed through the canopy of the trees, bathing the rocks with its warmth. The wise terrapin turned and faced Hilmi. You must not grieve too much, Hilmi. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We all belong to God, and there comes a time when we must Return to him. The forest was very beautiful. Everything was lush and green. The river ran swiftly and was clear and bright. Hilmi knew this was all Allah's creation. What will happen to my friend now that he has died? Asked Hilmi, filled with concern. We hope the blue dragonfly will be given Allah's mercy, replied the wise terrapin. When we die, we will have to face Allah and give an account of our life in this world. Those of us who have been good in this life will be given paradise as a reward. The wise terrapin looked over the bright sparkling river as it gurgled over the rocks. We must ask Allah to forgive the blue dragonfly for any wrongs that he might have done, continued the terrapin, so that God will admit him into paradise. Hilmi nodded his head deep in thought. He hoped the blue dragonfly had lived his life according to all. God's commands. But nevertheless, he would pray to Allah to show mercy on his little friend. If if we are not good and we do not live our lives according to God's commands, asked Hilmi, what, what will happen to us then? The wise old terrapin shook his head. Then, Hilmi, he said, we will be punished in hell. On my journey here, said Hilmi deep in thought, I met Claw, the lion. He is very old now, and soon he will die. Yes, Hilmi, replied the terrapin, but no one knows when we will die. Sometimes there are those of us who will die when we are young. And there will be some of us 
who will die when we are old. We do not know why. It is Allah's will. Once again, Hilmi nodded his head in deep thought. All the birds in the trees were quiet, as they too were listening to the wise terrapin. The happy catfish popped his head out of the water to hear what the terrapin was saying. The tree snake hung down from the branches. He too was listening with keen interest. A group of small butterflies flew down and settled on the flowers growing at the water's edge. We must live a decent life on this earth, Hilmi, continued the terrapin. Whatever we think or do must be just and right. We must live a good and peaceful life if we are to be granted paradise. God will judge us on the day of judgment, and we cannot escape. God's punishment. God will know how we have lived our lives. If we are bad, God will know. If we are good, God will know. Life in the hereafter is infinite. That means it will never end. It is forever. Jazakallah khair, Terpin, said Hilmi as he turned to leave. I have learned much today. Fia man Allah. Hilmi had a lot to think about on his return to his waterhole. The sun dropped low on the horizon, turning the sky a brilliant gold. The waterhole shimmered in the golden light. The little chameleon was there to greet him on his return, and all the birds chirped in greeting. Hilmi would miss the friendship he had with the blue dragonfly. But inshallah, the blue dragonfly will be given paradise, for he had been a truly good friend, not only to Hilmi, but to all the creatures who had shared their waterhole. The end. Thank you for sharing our story time today of Hilmi the Hippo Learns About Death.